Good day, my name is Johan. I'm the Training Manager at Sun Tank Solar Systems. Today we're going to have a look at the Resol Programmer. We're going to look at the video in two parts. We're going to look firstly at the home screen and holiday mode activations and secondly we're going to do a tutorial on how to set the timer programs themselves. So stay tuned, hope you'll find the session useful. Thank you. Welcome to the Resol tutorial. In this session, first session, we are going to look at the home screen as well as the holiday mode. So, let's have a look what happens when I open our flap. There's a lot of information which is of importance to me here already. When I come to the screen in this mode, it's showing the letter COL and a temperature display, as well as a couple of icons that's on the left-hand side of the screen display. We're going to talk about those now. The COL refers to the temperature of the fluid inside the collector panel at the top, that is on top of your roof. At the moment it's showing 28.5 degrees and there's a small little icon that's flashing at the top of the panel over there. Now I'm going to make use of these buttons here, there's an up arrow, a down arrow and a selection button. When I press the down button once, the screen comes to life, I'm going to press it a second time. It now displays a flashing icon over here and it's showing me a temperature of 23.1 degrees. That indicates the fluid going through the panels down at the bottom jacket of the geyser is a temperature of 23.1 degrees. Let's have a look. If I press it one more time, the icon flashes now at the top of the geyser uh, and that's just indicative of the water temperature that's inside the geyser. Actually that temperature probe is at the bottom of the geyser showing a temperature of 51 degrees at this stage. So let's just recap. If I go up one, two arrows now. Collector panel, temperature, I can confirm by the flashing icon that's at the top there. 31.1 degrees. Pressing the down arrow once. That's the fluid of the collector panel that's now come down to the bottom end of the jacket in the of the geyser. Flashing over there and that's a temperature of 23.1 degrees. Down arrow one more time and it shows me the temperature inside the geyser at the bottom of the geyser and that's 51.8 degrees. I can leave it in this mode, it will automatically go back to the default setting which is on COL, but uh, that is what we can see now. What about the situation where you're going on holiday or you get extra guests? This selection button here is what is important to us now. At the moment it is in the auto mode. What that means is that the timer settings which we've programmed into the result will be active. It will switch the geezer on and off at the appropriate times. But if I'm going to go away on holiday, I don't want it to heat up the water unnecessarily. So I'm going to move that button, auto, right over to the left where it says zero. So let's do that now. The moment I've done that, a couple of things change on the display. There's a hand that's on, showing me that I've manually changed the setting. It is now on zero, which indicates that there's no power going through to the element to heat up the geyser. This is the best mode if you're going away on holiday for some time. We don't need to use extra energy during that period of time. What about the situation I mentioned earlier when you get guests? You want to make sure you have enough hot water, they've just arrived, and in an hour from now they're going to bath. I'm going to move that setting ring all the way over to the 1. What happens now is that I am forcing the current through to the element and it's effectively going to be heating up the geyser full time now. It will be monitored by the thermostat which is inside the geyser. The temperature will rise immediately. I would not recommend you leave it on that mode because that is going to consume a lot of energy. Once the water has reached the ideal temperature or once the guests have had their, their fair share of water they need, I will return it back to my auto mode and allow the system to save you energy. I hope this is helpful. Stay tuned for part two. Welcome to the part two of the Resol Controller Programming Guide. During this session what we're going to look at is to verify the timer settings on which the geyser is going to be switched on and off and if you need to, how to change the setting of that as well. So let's start by having a look. I'm going to open the, the door here and in this session we're going to use primarily these three buttons here. The up arrow, the down arrow and the select button over here. Okay, so when I start, it's always on the COL display. 
in order to get to the time settings, I'm going to press the down arrow continuously until it says time. Now I'm going to press and hold that button in for a few seconds and the display changes. There we go. Now I can continue pressing the down button and there are many options available. The ones we want to look at is the T1 and the T2. Now, T1, as you can see it displays there, has a T1, 0, and a time. When I then go to T1 again with the down arrow, F. The T1, 0 is the on, T1, F is off. Similarly, T2 on, T2, F. So, let's have a look. If I go back up my menu, it is set at this stage to come on at 5 o'clock in the morning, T1 on, T2 F, and 6 o'clock it's going to be switched off. Then in the evening, this is going to be going on from 8 o'clock in the evening until 10 o'clock at night. In this situation where we want to have a little bit more hot water in the morning, I need to go back up to T1. Now, T1 on is at 5 o'clock. I want my water to be hot at 6 o'clock. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ta ta change time 1 on the setting an hour earlier. So while that's on display, I press the set button once. You see that the set icon is now flashing, that's over there. I can now use the down arrow and it decreases the time in 15 minute in increments. I can go also go up and increase the time setting. Once I've got the desired setting in place, I press the set button one more time and the set icon stops flashing. So what I've done now, I've started my timer to go on at 4 o'clock, go off at 6 o'clock, giving me a two hour window to heat up the water. Let's go back up right to the top and just recap this one more time to verify my settings. Going from our COL display, I'm going to use the down arrow button a number of times until it displays the time. Now I'll press and hold the down arrow in. It goes to DT and I'll continue with my down arrow buttons. T1 on, T1 off, time 2 on, time 2 off. There we go. We've verified the time. I've shown you how to set the time. I hope that is useful.